Good morning, welcome to another Wiltshire sunrise. And I trust that as you arise, the dawn will be in you, like we were speaking yesterday. I wonder how you got on with affecting the quality of the day, as Thoreau wrote. I found that so helpful yesterday, I don't know about you. I found it really helpful to uh, consider the deliberate way in which I wanted to be yesterday and it made a difference. I'd had a really challenging day the day before and the day had just run through my fingers and yesterday was more deliberate. So thank you Thoreau. I enjoyed, I've enjoyed reading him this week and uh, he was made for social distancing. Let me tell you, he, um, <laughs> he, he loved his solitude and uh, I was reading him again last night and, and he said that individuals, like nations, he said, need broad and capable boundaries between them. And he went on to uh, suggest that the, his, his preferred way of, of conversing with, with another was not only in silence, but with him on one side of his pond and the other person on the other, which I just thought was lovely. Uh, he would have fitted right in right now. Um, but what I love about his his writing is that it's so honest. He he's, he he practices what he preaches. He 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 is completely facing towards the reader with uh, who he is and his uh, his intentions uh, uh, for for living. And that echoes a great deal with what I think the Psalms um, encourage us to do. Certainly, they model that. To us, uh, one of the shocking things about the Psalms is is that so many of them say some such awful things. Actually, um, not not things that are obviously uh, admirable. They're all directed towards God, which gives them an ap uh, an attitude, a posture of worship. But we know that there are some pretty grim things also spoken in the Psalms. But what what's happening there? I think is that people are presenting, the writers are just presenting their honest self, their open face uh, towards God and just uh, giving that to him. They're completely, uh, uh, completely themselves in their, in their position, whatever their situation, their place is. And um, I think that is admirable, admirable even, if it's, uh, even if it's disturbing. Sometimes it feels as if we're eavesdropping on somebody else's crisis uh, in reading the Psalms. And I'm going to read a part of today's Psalm, uh, which is a bit like that, and an encouragement to us to, to similarly face God as the flowers face the sun and, uh, and pick up some of his warmth and reflection, whatever we give to him. This is from Psalm 35, which uh, in the prayer book they have the the first couple of words in Latin at the, at the beginning, like a, a, a rather cool title, I, I love them. Uh, this is subtitled Judica Domine. Plead thou my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me, and fight thou against them that fight against me. Lay hand upon the shield and buckler, and stand up to help me. Bring forth the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I, and thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that imagine mischief for me. Let them be as the dust before the wind and the angel of the Lord scattering them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them for they have privily laid their net to destroy me without a cause Yea, even without a cause have they made a pit for my soul. Let a sudden destruction come upon him unawares. And his net that he hath laid privily catch himself, that he may fall into his own mischief. And my soul, be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee? Well, I pray your way is not dark and slippery this day, 
but light with a firm foothold on, on the day ahead. God bless you as you go to ground.